Hello everybody and welcome to our second video of Unit 1. In this video we are going to talk about significant figures. We're going to discuss what they are, some rules to help you figure out significant figures, and a little helpful mnemonic device called the Atlantic Pacific Rule. Significant figures or sig figs are all digits plus one estimated digit in measurements or calculated data. Over the last few days we've been doing several activities with measurements and our measurements have included all the digits we could read off of our instruments plus one estimated place. It's important when we are using measurements or ca calculated data that we are able to determine what digits are considered significant and which ones are not because we don't want to report any data that has more digits in the measurement than what was actually read off of the instrument. So to help us determine what digits are significant, there are some rules we can follow. Our first rule of sig figs is that all non-zeros, or numbers 1 through 9, are significant. Looking at the examples here, we have two numbers that have all non-zero digits, because they are all non-zero, all the digits are significant. Therefore, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sig figs significant in our first measurement. And in the second, we have 1, 2, 3. Non-zero digits are always significant. When a measurement contains a zero, we need to take some time to evaluate the purpose of that zero. With placekeeping zeros, which are zeros in front of a non-zero digit, or the zeros at the end of a number without a decimal point, they are considered non-significant. The reason being is that all they do is hold the non-zero digits in place. Looking at the first example, 0 0.08532 meters, the first two zeros are holding the 8 in the hundreds place. Therefore, they're not significant. This number then only has 4 sig figs. Those zeros are not significant. In the second value, 9,000 milliliters, the three zeros at the end are holding the 9 in the thousands place. Those three zeros are not significant. They're placekeeping. This number will only have one sig fig. Any placekeeping zeros are not significant and will not be counted in the total number of sig figs for a measurement. What zeros are significant? Any internal zero or a zero that is sandwiched between two non-zero digits is significant. Looking at our examples, we have two internal zeros here between the 1 and the 2, so they're significant. This number has six sig figs. In our second example, we have two internal zeros, one between the 8 and the 4, and one between the 4 and the 5. This number has five sig figs. Any zero that is between Two non-zero digits is significant. The other type of significant zeros are the zeros that will follow a non-zero digit with a decimal. Here in the first example, 0 0.5670000 nanometers, they have three zeros at the end. Those three zeros are significant because it follows a non-zero digit after a decimal place. This number has six sig figs. In the second example, 12.00 liters, we have two zeros, and they are significant because it follows a non-zero digit after a decimal place. This number has four sig figs. 
Zeros that follow non-zero dig digits after a decimal place are significant. Those are the rules for significant figures, and they should help you determine the number of sig figs in any measurement. But I also have a mnemonic device that I like to use to help you uh, determine the number of sig figs in a, num in a measurement. The Atlantic Pacific Rule is a great mnemonic device to help you figure out the number of sig figs. In this rule, we pictured the United States, and we know that the Pacific Ocean is on the west coast, and the Atlantic Ocean is on the east, and depending on whether or not the number has a decimal, it will determine which way you're going to travel across the United States. If a decimal is present, you're going to proceed from the the Pacific to the first non-zero. If the decimal is absent, you're going to advance from Atlantic to the first non-zero. Looking at this example, we do have a decimal present. We are going to travel or proceed from the Pacific to the first non-zero, which is our two. As we continue to proceed across the country towards our east coast, that too and anything after it will be significant. So in this problem, with this measurement, we have five sig figs. Let's try another one. In this number, 703,300 grams, we need to first look to see if there is a decimal present or absent. It's absent, so we start from the Atlantic side or the right side and we proceed through the number to the first non-zero digit, which is our three. The three and anything that follows it as you continue to the left is significant. So we have one, two, three, four sig figs in this measurement. Should we try one more? In this example, we need to check to see if our decimal is present or absent. There is a decimal present, so we start from the Pacific side and we head to the East Coast or to the right. So we're going to go to our first non-zero here at the 9. That 9 and anything else as you travel to the right is significant. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 sig figs in this value. A very easy and nice way to help you determine the number of sig figs in a, in a given measurement. Let's try some examples together. In number one, there's a decimal present, so we're going to proceed from Pacific, or the left side of the number, to the first non-zero, which is the four, and anything else as we continue to the right will be significant. We have one, two, three, four sig figs in this value. If you look at the zeros that we did not count here, these zeros, remember zeros that come before non-zero digits are considered placekeepers. Those placekeeping zeros are not significant. The Atlantic Pacific rule worked here. In number two, if we use Atlantic Pacific, there's no decimal. We will proceed from the Atlantic side or the right side to the first non-zero, which is the two, and we have one, two, three, four. Anything after the first non-zero as you continue in the direction you started will be significant. This number also has four sig figs. And again, that zero here that was not counted is a place keeping zero, one of our non-significant digits. This number here, we have a decimal go to our first non-zero. That is the one, our first digit. So all three digits here are significant. This follows our zero that follows a non-zero after a decimal rule. In four we have a decimal. We go to our first non-zero from the Pacific side. 
we have one, two, three, four, five sig figs. Number five, we look at it, proceed from the Atlantic, there's no decimal, it's absent. We have one sig fig. Number six, we have a decimal, so we proceed from Pacific, and all three are significant. And then finally, we have a decimal present, proceed from Pacific, and all of these are significant. So here we have four sig figs. Let me add my S's here. So you can see that the Atlantic Pacific rule gives you an easy way of going through and determining the number of sig figs very quickly, but they do follow the rules from the beginning of the video. Why don't you practice a few problems on your own, pause the video now, and try to determine the number of sig figs in the following measurements. We will go over them in class as a review. You can use the Atlantic Pacific rule to determine the number of sig figs, but I would also like you to write down why the Pacific Atlantic Pacific rule works for each of these. So if the Atlantic Pacific rule knocks out a zero because it's placekeeping, write that next to your number of sig figs that the zeros are placekeeping so that you're match matching up the rules from the beginning of the video to the Atlantic Pacific rule while you practice. You can pause your video now. Sometimes we need to record our measurements to a certain number of sig figs, especially if it comes from a calculation in our calculator. Let's practice a few of these. In these four examples, we want to record each value to three sig figs. Looking here, the first thing you want to do is find the first significant digit as you're reading the number from the left to right. Our first significant digit will be our 4. We're going to count out 1, 2, 3. Our number will end at the 6, but we are going to use rounding rules, so the 7 will round the 6 up. Our number will be 000457 kilometers. In the second example, we're going to start at the left and read to the right. We have one, two, three. Our number for sig fig purposes will end at the zero. But we can't just drop the two zero off of there. Or we're going to go from 97,000 millimeters to 970 millimeters. They are not the same. Instead, we're going to add two zeros for those two digit places. We need, though, to indicate that this is a significant zero. Anytime you need to indicate that one zero is significant over the other, we are going to put a line over it and then write our unit. In number three, start at the left, one, two, three. The one, the last one, is not significant. It will not affect any other digit. So our value will be 12.1 liters. In the final one, go to your first uh, sig fig, which is the 2, 1, 2, 3. Our number will end at the 9, but the 5 will round the 9, and since the 9 will round up to 10, it will round the 7 to an 8. So it will be 2, 7, I'm sorry. I wrote this number wrong. It will be 0 0.028. Can't drop this place, so we need to include a zero with our unit. So make sure that you're following rounding rules and not dropping any place keeping zeros that we may need. Now try some of these on your own. Write the numbers and your answers in your notes. We will review them tomorrow in class. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Pause the video now to complete these problems.